so it is 6 45 in the morning so it is 6 42 in the morning um i'm in wakiso district getting my national id i left home like at five to get here i got lost they're doing some construction on the northern bypass so i got lost but that's what you have to do to get your national id in this country because they took all of us who live in a certain area to one district which is out of very far almost an hour's drive <sighs> it is an hour's drive out of town last time i came here i stood for a very long time and they still didn't give me my id because they said the office is closing so today i've come at least i can be the first person but i'm already seeing a chick has arrived people are not playing anyway i don't know what time these offices open but when they open i will be there I'm so determined to get my national ID now because you can't like register a SIM card and anything without your ID. You can't even buy a SIM card without your national ID. You can't even use your passport. It's like, no, we only want national IDs. Um, my guess is the office is open at 8, so I have about 1 hour 15 minutes to the office is opening. So I'm just going to sit here and keep watching the door. If I see a line starting to form, I'll go quickly form it. Otherwise, I'm just going to read. Um, I packed a smoothie <laughs> for the weight. And I'm going to read. I have my book. And I'll have some time of devotion and prayer as I wait. I pray I get this national ID. Yeah, anyway. So I finally get my ID. It's uh, 10.49. I'm so frustrated. I've been holding P since like 6 in the morning. I'm still holding it, by the way. And like, they couldn't find my ID at first. It was misplaced. I don't know if I was misplaced. They finally find it. They didn't even have my full names. I've always used three names. They only put two. And yet it's a, it's a weird because I had to hand in my first ID so they can put my real names. For them to put only two names, yet I clearly wrote what names I wanted. I don't know. I'm just so frustrated right now. And then at the end, it's like everyone who had been kind of looking for my ID, all of them wanted money from me because they looked for it. And I've seen it's your job to look for it. I mean, they gave me my ID. I just walked out of there and they all that stared at me like, oh, this chick can't even give us uh, transport, lunch. We looked for her ID since morning. I've seen, well, what about me who has been sitting here since morning? expecting the decency of getting things right i have to pay for parking here <sighs> it's always something in this country such a broken system but i'm just going to look at the brighter side i got my id i didn't drive all the way to a kiss for nothing Ah, I'm so hungry. My smoothie has warmed up. Now, I have to drink a warm smoothie. It has splashed all over me. Ah. At least it still tastes nice. <laughs> it has splashed all over me. It has splashed tea. It's alright. Just it's nicer when it's cold. Why can't anything work in this country? Um we blame it on the government. We blame it on broken systems. Uh we blame it on corruption. Blame it on Museveni. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know why things don't work. Let's see. Um, the way even they were piling up. Many of these guys, they barely know how to use the digital system that they are put in front of. They are so trained. Then there are these people who just linger around the office. I mean, the level of corruption was so weird. Like, guys were asking for money while the sign was all around were saying everything, all the services here for free. Then the people who are, let me tell you how guys do it. So the people who are working in the offices, who give you your IDs, they, get, they keep getting phone calls from people who send them their numbers and application numbers and they write it down on a private piece of paper to get for them their IDs. Then the police officers who work in the area to kind of keep security, people also come and give them money and their application so, so they don't have sign in the lines. And so they, they walk in and give their friends. I think even the people who clean the place, I mean, everyone is on that hookup. It's like, oh, you work for district officer. Oh, you work for the district officers. Can I, can you help me get my, yeah. my buddy is the one who sits there. Then I told you the guys who linger, not linger, it's like their job is to organize people, make them make lines, tell them where to go, and all those guys make a money. So everyone is making money, to the point of, I know there's a number, someone tried to give me a number which you call, hand in your application papers, and they'll call you to, to when your, your new card is ready. I refused the numbers like look I'm going to go and line up like everyone else yeah it was the most frustrating situation but I don't like owing anyone anything I don't like I don't like there to be let it not be said if I ever find myself in any kind of weird position I don't think anyone can come and say you know but even you paid for jazz wah, ah, 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 ah. or a number was called like for instance, my husband used to work um, for Wakiso, the medical health, he's a doctor, so he ran the medical health center for Indeje. And so obviously he knew a lot of people in Wakiso district thing. But there's no that he's going to call to his bad days that my wife is coming, so you know, take care of her. As in, he, I, if you refuse that jazz, and it becomes a principle that is who you are you don't swallow that jazz even though even though the stacks are piled up for your favor but you're like no i will do the hustle like everyone else then you have you don't have a right but you have yes you have a right to demand more from your leaders but if you're a person who pays for weird things like you pay here you pay there you pay and then you start demanding your own leaders not to accept bribes it's like dude that's what everyone does you do it as well so if you want to stop corruption stop being corrupt yourself the reason why i feel our, our, our offices are corrupt is because we as a people are corrupt our leaders are corrupt I would not even have who to look up to to be like, oh, this person is like, you know, my example. Oh, let's follow this person. They don't take, you know, bribes. You don't, there's not to admire in that sense. I'm sure there could be some people in the government offices who, who are legit to their jobs, but the ones working in, in positions where they can earn money, like Nira, KCCA, oh my gosh. And you know, it's so weird. Like, I look up to some people in government. Like, let's say Jennifer Musisi, she's the executive director of Kampala City Council Authority. And she really speaks with all this uh, enthusiasm and determination to fight corruption. She entered the office, she fired everyone, cleaned up the place. It's just that now, what she did was that the normal human being, the one I she, are the people who are now not entitled to the corruption. That's what she did. She removed corruption for the lower man. But the rest, like those who can afford it, can still get what they need. Because they're people always lingering around KCCA. I don't know why KCCA doesn't chase away those people. If you're not sitting behind that desk and you're not the security guard, you shouldn't be but you shouldn't be there. But those people who walk the corridors, your clerks, your messengers, oh my gosh, they all have numbers for me engineers all you have to do is just call up those guys and then they come to the offices because they're your buddies 
or help this person, you know, move these documents and like that. And there's even a fee. There's like a standard fee for corruption that you pay when you go in KC. So until we weed out those people and and officers stop tolerating that jazz, like especially from clerks, secretaries and messengers. Those are the guys, like those middlemen. But you see, now you're arresting for what? He wouldn't be there if people are not paying for him to be there. He wouldn't be there if the people in the offices also didn't entertain him because there's a cut, like he'll share the, the money that he gets with the person in the office. Look, first, I believe it's a, it's not like, I believe it's a pyramid system on both ways. First, the top needs to clean up. If you can get leadership and leaders and a president who is like, not only zero corruption, but shows it. Like someone like Kagame who will arrest his relatives if he has to, because of corruption. He's that, he's that crazy. Until you get someone like that, the rest of us are just going to be like, if our, if our president's eating, even us are going to eat. Then, also from down coming up, if us as a people say, we are done with this jazz and we just want to do better and then we start demanding the people at the top to do it or we're not going to vote you in power if you what because you don't because you steal money so we are done with your jazz that's why this whole edge limit thing does not phase me okay put the edge limits there i mean remove them put them there that's not the issue stop voting the dude back in that's it age limit or no age limit i'm telling you if as a country we were done with this bs yeah and we say that okay you you remove age limits come back in with your old self and then we just don't vote you in no need to go a kid got killed or uh, uh, matching the whole at Makere for the whole age limit thing why do all that because it's not effective our leaders embarrass themselves in parliament the whole of opposition just embarrass themselves Nambosi is not a leader she is just a clown okay let us just say we are done. We're not going to vote you, you, you in. All those MPs of NRM who are pushing for this thing, that Anita chick who, who keeps who, who said that the, the army is on her side, that was treason. What she said was treason. Why she wasn't arrested? That's that's for that's for another level, yeah. But all I'm saying is that you don't even have to go and what we're the same people who vote these people back in. By the way, we are. So before we go demonstrating, just either we vote them in or we don't even vote at all. I mean, I was not even around during voting and I really wanted to be there to vote. And I know many of my of my colleagues who did not vote at all. Like they were like, ah, go make lines for what? It's going to win anyway. Now you're surprised? Mm? You're surprised? <laughs> they still have votes. Okay, but you do your part you do your part but don't just sit there don't do crap and then cry about it and then go on facebook and be like oh as a country we have given up on, on our nation no one has given up on anything we're the same people who go and stand in that heat and vote even if our vote is stolen even if it's 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 lost in transit we did something so don't tell us that we don't do anything okay we use our platforms to make noise and bring awareness and tell people to do better I don't litter when I'm driving I don't pour things out because I want to keep my environment and my area clean when there's when I'm faced with corruption and bribery I jam so don't tell me I don't do anything because I'm not on the streets getting myself killed or getting myself sprayed by the way I feel like I do more by trying to be a good citizen not taking bribes keeping the place clean paying my taxes doing the right thing I feel like I do more than you who does all these things and pays all these bribes and then you go on on the streets and start getting sprayed and be like oh we are the real revolutionaries please don't even try me gosh it is because you're comfortable because your people are in which people i'm not the same tribe as the president so i don't know why you say us people my father has been has been an opposition leader all his life he has been anti president all his life not all his life most of his political life so don't come and tell me that we have easy money we work for what we have so i don't see why it has to become like a tribal thing 
until we remove that tribal thing we're just always going to fight each other on tribal lines i don't know why we can't unite and by the way banyakule make a very small percentage of the ugandan population so the fact that museveni gets elected back by a major majority don't come looking with it's us in the west no and then voters like money it's so weird you you see this during campaigns all voters want in the village is for you to dish around money if you're an mp who doesn't dish around money you're not going to get elected now what does that say about the leader you're voting in? or about even the people there's this thing house of cards we get the leaders we deserve we do have the leaders we deserve because all the electoral all, all 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 the voters keep asking for money i remember in school we used to call it we used to call it makere we used to call it when people would come with like sweets and what to give us before we vote and then we'd vote the person who had the coolest things what was it called i don't remember what it was called but even us who are voting are corrupt and then we, we are surprised that we get corrupt leaders anyway i have a long drive back to kampala so let me get to it